Hey everybody, well welcome back to the channel. It's gonna be a little different today. Uh, I got a rather important one today and I want to start off by uh, defining reconciliation. So we're gonna be using the uh, Google Dictionary uh, definition and it is the restoration of friendly relations. Or the second one is the action of making one view or belief compatible with another. So an example of that is he aims to bring about a reconciliation between art and technology. Everybody, let's get to our 24 hours a day reading for today, October 14th. See where reconciliation fits in in all this, eh? How big a part of my life is this recovery program? Is it just one of my activities and a small one at that? Or do I only go to AA meetings now and then and sometimes never go at all? Do I think of this recovery program occasionally? Am I reticent about mentioning the subject of recovery or AA to people who might need help? Or does this recovery program or AA fill a large part of my life? Is it the foundation of my whole life? Where would I be without this program? Does everything I have and do depend on my AA foundation? Is AA or this recovery the foundation on which I build my life? Well, and technically it's probably not because we know that our personal relationship with God is more, more important and not most the por most important, right? Amen. Passionate about this. I'm living it and I'm loving it, breathing it. So we don't necessarily need to have AA as our foundation, but in their, in the AA world, that's what they want. But we're wiser than that. We know that that's not our whole existence and our whole foundation. So here's the foundation right here. Listen to this. So lay upon God your failures and mistakes and shortcomings. Do not dwell upon your failures, upon the fact that in the past you have been nearer a beast than an angel. You see, you have a mediator between you and God. Your growing faith, which can lift you up from the mire and point you toward the heavens. You can still be reconciled with the Spirit of God. You can still regain your harmony with the divine principle of this universe. Amen. So today, I pray that I may not let the beast in me hold me back from my spiritual destiny. And I pray that I may rise and walk upright. And I pray that for each and every one of you guys out there, I hope you're safe and sober on this October 14th, this Monday. And uh, I love you guys. God bless. I'm not sure what my camera is doing today, but it's turning on all by itself. That's okay, because we're talking about reconciliation. We're talking about uh, coming to terms with maybe some mistakes or slips or trips that we've had in the past. Now, I'm taking a break from social media, posting my thoughts, views, beliefs, anything like that. And I'm just sticking to the videos. So I ain't going to be posting very much on social media except for these videos. And these videos are important to not only my recovery, but uh, other people who's like, hey, if you're going to take a break, please don't take a break from, from making videos. And I appreciate that. That really goes a long ways for me. Sorry, trying to get some good lighting in here. Uh, because I need these videos too, and I make them, and sometimes if I don't post them, I feel like I'm, I'm not doing my part. Like I'm not sharing what could be profound knowledge for somebody because it has been for me in my recovery and i've made it we've made it this far okay i've made it five and a half years without drinking and uh the better half of 13 years now without, now without alcohol or drugs sorry so you know drugs meaning heroin meth amphetamines things like that i used to be a really bad addict excuse me i used to spend my days my evenings my mornings everything consuming drugs alcohol uh, heroin. I was addicted to heroin for uh, a little while there. I was addicted to methamphetamine and also amphetamines, prescription pills, uh, things of that sort. So let's get a little light in here. Woo! Yeah. And in doing so, we are going to get the message out. So what I wanted to talk about today was reconciliation and what reconciliation means um, in the Oxford Dictionary or the Google Dictionary we just we just read. But sometimes in the layman's terms and elementary terms, we had to come to terms with, uh, you know, and reconciling some of the things that we've done, said, things um, that we might have thought even. So, you know, right now I'm just really feeling like, uh, you know, I can never really get ahead financially. I really think that it's because I'm not choosing the right jobs, right? I'm choosing to help people rather than looking at maybe making more money and I, I just I put in my heart before my wallet and it, it's been that one of these times something will stick and I'll be able to use what I've learned not only in recovery but in all my experiences and all my therapy and all of everything and should culminate to me using all them things and, and, and I'm trying to have patience but it's been hard because I'm trying to make a living too and so I'm trying to find side work trying to find get something going in that in that department is is tough and you know if i post on facebook sometimes you know hey 
you know, my financial situation isn't the best and people are like, well, work harder or get a better job or, you know, and those are all great, great suggestions, but they're not things that are thinking about, you know, the here and now. You're like, yeah, I could go out and get another job. I could go out and get another better job, but I'm in a position now where I don't want to do that anymore. I want to work for one employer for a while. I don't want to have to switch up. I don't want to have to do my own thing. But I can't, live, I can't make a livable wage, uh, you know, working a part-time job. So right now, I'm trying to reconcile with some of the things that I've chosen to do in my own life, right? Like pursuing uh, helping people rather than, you know, going and building decks for $50 an hour. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm now helping people for, you know... Twenty dollars an hour. So it's like it's it's a trade off. Like I know I'm not going to be helping people building decks, but I'll be making a lot more. I know I'm helping people in this job, but I'm not making a lot. So it's it's a trade off. And you know I'm okay uh, trying to figure out a better way of living because that's where we as a team and as people that, who come together in recovery or out of recovery get ideas, and that's how we come up with solutions. So what is the solution, and how do we reconcile some of the decisions that we've made in our daily life? Well, first of all, what we can do is we can stop and ask. Uh, for the discernment because when we try to discern you know what we've done wrong that's when we need help right that's when we need to do that with a sponsor or with a trusted individual that will help maybe shed some unbiased light on some of the things that maybe we need to reconcile so making amends and stuff like that can help to reconcile some differences that you've had in the past with people uh, and also you know saying making amends you know apologies uh, we're needed I'm not asking people to, to take responsibility for things that maybe weren't theirs but to also um, learn to live in the moment and if you make a mistake just quickly fess up say sorry make amends and move on don't have to make it again but sometimes we do have to make these mistakes repeatedly in order for us to get the get the get the point so reconciling can be hard can be easy but it's really truly up to us and what we have going on in our program to stop and actually make amends or reconcile a difference or come to terms with something that we've maybe done in the past that might not be bringing us what we want today in today's you know emotions you know guilt blame shame all that stuff could could we could all maybe use a little reconciliation with some things that we've done in the past to maybe put some um, shame, blame, and guilt to bed so that way we aren't carrying that load all together. Sorry, I get passionate and I get very excited about this. Um, I'm just, this is just my life. This is where I am right now and I don't have much else to say other than that I want people to be uh, strong in their recovery and to have the hope even when sometimes I don't have the hope I put that expectation on each other that we should all be faithful and hopeful and and, and, and hopeful right hopeful faithful and trustworthy and genuine and honest and dedicated and committed and loyal to the to the program to the to the way right to the path and that that way and that path is abstinence from illegal hardcore new, illicit narcotics you know cocaine heroin fentanyl that sort of stuff methamphetamines amphetamines anything illegal that you know you shouldn't be doing and or legal things like prescription pills or drugs or, or alcohol sorry those are all drugs those are all things that we can obtain legally and at your uh, local pharmacy and or liquor store but those things are going to be detrimental to our spiritual health our mental health and our recovery so we have to pick and choose what we're putting in because if we don't want to put out garbage we got to put in good stuff we have to sow and, and we have to sow some good seeds right we have to look for that bountiful harvest and, and don't be regretful just reconcile with some of the things that we've done and send that way we don't have to uh carry that blame shame and, and guilt man i just love talking about it so reconcile reconcile with the past and get over it and and, and find a way to move on right close those chapters with your life and start writing a new one i love you guys so much god bless